Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 30th through November 5th. This is a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Aries. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks so whatever falls out I am going to go ahead and lay down. And we got the first five cards. Look at that. I will zoom this in better when I am done laying out the cards. looks pretty good. We just want to go like that. All right. Basis of your reading is the magician. Okay. The magician is about awareness. Okay. It's about awareness. It's about success. It's about using your inner resources to solve a problem or to get through something. It's a very spiritual card. It's like um, as above, so below. Um, it's also about action, taking action in some direction, okay? We do have um, some communication might be coming in this week that you've been expecting or waiting for. Um, I think that there could be something new given to you on a physical level or something that you've earned. Um, I do see some kind of um, healing going on, all right? It just looks like it's a very... Um, it's like wishes are being fulfilled this week or you feel like they're being fulfilled and you were just waiting for that, okay? It looks like you are very intuitive. Um, you've taken action in regards to your dreams, okay? You've taken action in regards to your dreams even if it hurts, okay? Because it looks like something has caused some hurt. Um, but it looks like because you've taken action, it leads, uh, it leads you closer to your dreams. All right. I do feel like this is all like in the name of love and you're looking for love. Perhaps you haven't been getting the attention that you desire from somebody, maybe somebody from your past. Okay. Or you've been thinking about the love in a past. You've been thinking about a past love and you've been waiting for a new start. Okay. It looks like um, you're making progress towards your wish fulfillment. Um, you're, but you're going through a period of awakening right now. I see a lot of spiritual, um, like soul searching or spiritual um, connectedness, okay? You have like, um, I think that many of you are going through an awakening, okay? And I think that it's, if this awakening is leading you closer to your love, believe it or not. It is. You're, it's pretty leading you closer to your love. This awakening and this, this is love. Okay? And your wish is being fulfilled. All right? Um, and you've taken the action towards fulfilling your wishes. It's not like they did it all for you, even though you're here. You know, I think it was very, you know, you worked hand in hand with the universe. Really good. Really well. Okay? Um, to fulfill your dreams. I think there's been periods of depression, periods of losing sleep, wondering if you're making the right decision, you know, wondering if following your intuition is the right thing to do, you know, wondering about self-doubt, okay? I think you've had some doubt, but you've overcome it, all right? And you've overcome it, come it by believing in the future, okay? Uh, acting towards your hopes and wishes, taking action, okay, honoring yourself, all right, and you're really looking out to the future, it's like, you know what, I have to do something for my future, all right, so I think many of you are really taking action, if you haven't already this week, um, I'm going to get the next, I'm going to start shuffling for the next 
of hope. Um, and many of you are working on getting your life back on track, and I think that that's happening. You're definitely making progress. You're making big progress towards your wishes being fulfilled. I mean, I see a lot of wish fulfillment here, but it's not like you you uh, didn't take action. You did. I see that you guys took your life in your own hands and said, you know what? My future is important, and I have to do this. So, you know, I'm just going to go with my gut on this one. Even if it, even if it hurts, I'm going to go with my gut. Um, there may be a move in home or a change in your home. I do see that we have love here. Um, there's, like, a connection with somebody that you could be reconnecting with. Could be somebody from your past. Um... Could be somebody from a past life even. But it's almost like you knew this person. I, you know, like you know this person, all right, who you may be reconnecting with. Um, I think that there's a lot of excitement here. And it's something says, yes, please do act on your hunches. Do it. It could lead to love, all right? Don't delay. Don't delay. This would have been reversed had I not turned it around. I don't do reverses because I consider the reverses in every single reading and every single card. So I'm telling you, do not delay. Keep taking action. Act on your hunches. Move forward towards your future. Okay? It's about you having higher expectations than where you were. And that's why you took action. It's like, you know what? This is not all that there is. I know that there is more for me. I know there's a better connection someplace else. I have to go for it. I have to go where the love is at. Okay? So I see that many of you have taken action to fought to, to make your dreams come true. Okay? Um, and it's going to bring in stability and security where you haven't been so stable and secure in the past recently. Okay, and you and I'm not talking about financial stability and security. I'm talking and if, for many of you, it could be financial stability and security. For many of you, this is um, emotional stability and security. Okay, where you're looking for that companionship, that love, where you have that emotional stability and security. And I think many of you have have done a lot of soul searching, and you're at a point where you're gonna, you're following your dreams. And this week, I think that you've done it as above, so below. You have manifested your wish, okay, with action, okay, using all your resources, using your spiritual resources, using your financial resources, using your brain, every resource within your body. You have manifested this change that is going on in your life. You have done it, and it leads to love. Okay, so this week, you could um, be uniting with a partner, okay? This could be um, somebody from your past, okay? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know why I'm shuffling these. I'm done with them. <laughs> I'm so used to shuffling. I might get you one of my angel guidance cards. This week is about manifesting, okay? That's what it's about. Your dreams are coming true because of you. That's what it means. That's what it means. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're on the right path. You're making progress. This week is about progress. Your dreams are starting to come to fruition because you're doing something. You're closing a door that no longer serves you. And I think that you're thinking about the future, and the future is in reach. Okay, what your dreams are in reach because you've done it. And I think your dreams have more to do with love, okay, right now. And I think it has to do with a partnership. I mean, this could be work if you're, but I think many of you, it's, it's about a partnership and you've acted on your hunches. And you need to keep acting on your hunches. Don't look back. Keep going. That's a Dorian Virtue Angel Daily Guidance card. Now I'm going to get you one of these Archangel Michael cards. 
I think that you, many of you are entering a whole new um, phase of your life that you have manifested and you have taken action to change. I think it's a... Um, It's a period where love comes first. That's what I see. Love is on the forefront. Love is coming in. Love is being offered. Whereas in the past, it wasn't about the love as much as it is now. It was more about financial security. And this may or may not resonate with you. But I see that this, is, this week is focused on finding or being with or giving ultimate love. Make sure I don't got two cards here. I do. I'm going to put them a little bit closer. And I'm going to zoom that in. The first card is Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. There's no failure here. None. Keep going, whether this is work-related or love-related. This card can go in both ways. The basis of your reading is this is success. You are being successful this week. This week is about leading you towards the success that you have been dreaming about, whether it's financially or lovingly. Okay? This week is bringing you that much closer. It really, really is. You've taken action. And I think I see a lot of passion here. All right? There is. And love. Love for something, whether it's a job or a person, there's a lot of love. You're on the right path. I think I've told you that. I'm, I think I have. Okay, this is from Archangel Michael. My prayer. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. And I see that this week many of you, the, the hard work that you have put into this change is paying off. Okay? If you are single and you're looking for a new love, it certainly could show up this week. Or this could even be a new love for yourself or your job. So Aries, this is what I have for you. And I will talk to you next week.